Whether you're new or old to creating content, being able to create content consistently isn't just about pushing those ideas out there, but it's also about having a place for your ideas to be organized so you can constantly keep track of how they're performing over time and also making sure that they go from the idea stage to the publish stage. Now, there are tons of tools that would allow you to do this, like Google Drive, Asana, ClickUp, even a pen and paper on your desk. However, here at Creatorly Media, we use one of our favorite apps ever, which is Notion. In today's video, you're gonna learn all about how to create your own content calendar in Notion. Hi, it's Adam Shoyo here with Creatorly Media, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own content calendar in Notion. By the end of this video, you'll know all of the tools and the tips to make sure that you're keeping your content organized and you're also able to better streamline your content creation flow. If you're unfamiliar with Notion, Notion is an all-in-one productivity tool that allows you to manage your tasks, projects, and ideas all in one place. Notion can really help you keep things really organized. It can allow you to set deadlines and see how you are progressing towards those deadlines. It can also be a place for you to just keep track of things that are fun, like the books that you're reading or places that you wanna travel. There's really no end to what Notion can do for you, which is why Notion is probably one of the best and the easiest tools to get started using because you can really customize it to the way your brain works and how you want things to go as you're working. I personally really like to use Notion to manage my business and my personal life. It allows me to really keep track of the things that I need to get done within my business for clients or things that are going on behind the scenes. But in my personal life, I'm able to keep track of fun things like the books that I'm reading or restaurants that I really want to go to or trips that I'm planning with friends. And it really allows me to connect a bunch of different ideas together. So if I have one idea in my personal life and if I see a parallel, for example, in my business, I'm able to really link those ideas in the same place, which is kind of how my brain works. So being able to visually see that is what makes this tool so amazing and what makes me a power user for this tool. If now all of the things that I've told you about Notion has gotten you really excited and you're really, really ready to use it, I'm really excited to hear that. But when it comes to managing your content in Notion, there's a couple things that you really need to make sure that you're using in order to keep organized. The first thing you need to do is have a database. So this database is going to be how you link and connect all of your content ideas together. It's going to be how you're able to quickly reference or visualize how you're progressing towards taking your ideas from the project ideation phase to the actual publishing and scheduling phase. Now that you have your database, the next thing that you need to leverage within Notion is the properties. The properties are gonna be how you organize and group those ideas together. You can create a property for your content pillar, a property for the status, as well as a property for the date. So you're able to keep track of when things are getting published, what idea does your content fall under, as well as how that content is getting worked on. The other thing that you need to make sure that you have within your content calendar database is a property to be able to keep track of your analytics. You wanna know how your content is performing, what type of engagement that content has got, and it's so easy to have it all in one place as you're looking for old ideas that you may have had in the past that you've already published that you may wanna repurpose for later. The last thing that you wanna make sure that you're having in your content calendar is templates. Templates are gonna save you so much time because you're not gonna have to repeat all of the different tasks that you wanna have. And it's going to allow you to make sure that you always have a checklist for the different types of content that you're creating. For example, the work that you need to put in for a reel is gonna look different for a carousel post. You wanna make sure that you're doing a good job of keeping track of those things and making sure that you're not missing something before that content goes out to your audience. Now that you have your content calendar together, the next step is for you to just start creating. If you need some help getting started, be sure to reach out to us at Creatorly Media and we'll be sure to help you. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to let us know in the comments down below what is one thing you're struggling with when it comes to creating content. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.